all right what's going on everybody welcome back to another arc video so today we are going to start getting our first boss army and so the first boss we are going to tame or not tame to defeat is going to be the brood mother and i'm sure most of you know that one of the best creatures to use to defeat the brood mother is the megatherium and that is exactly what we are going oh, there's a yudi right there um, that's exactly what we're going to look for. Megatheriums, I've seen them pretty commonly throughout the, um, the snow biome. I think I've actually seen some right up here. I don't think these are good levels, though. And, so if you, if you don't know, Megatheriums get a buff. I don't know if they get two buffs, but they get at least one when they kill a, like, chitin creature. I don't know, like, what exactly the specific is. If it, like, needs to have chitin, like, come off of it. I feel like that's it. Um... But they get a buff where they get, I, I know for sure they get increased damage. I don't know if there's other benefits to it. But I know for sure that there's increased damage. And that's the main thing because with the Broodmother, she spawns a Renio. And those trigger the buff, which means that she, the Megatheriums will get, all the Megatheriums will get that buff. And then they'll be just putting out an insane amount of damage. So, I'm going to just kind of look around here. For some mega theories. I gotta turn on my game a little bit. I noticed that when I was editing the last video. That when, when I get into a fight, it's actually really hard to hear me. It's not really hard, but it is too loud. So let me do that now. Um, let's bring down the master. Maybe I should turn down sound effects. Let's go like that. All right, hopefully that'll help out a little bit. That. All right. So yeah, so we're gonna look for some Megatherium, and then I looked at that UD because I would also like to get a. Uh, God, I hope you can't hear my dogs barking up there. Um, I'd like to get a, like two. Well, eventually I want a one, like a good Uteranus for the boss fights, but I also want two like just generic UDs so I can get some kibble from them. So those ones don't really need to be a high level. In fact, I'd rather have them be low levels just so they're easier to tame. But of course, for the the good, like the UD I'm going to be using in boss fights, I want that to be a good one. All right, I'm just looking at my browser. Yeah, so the Megatheriums are actually they're the most common spawn for them is in the snow, and it's basically anywhere where there is snow on the map, there is the ch chance of a Megatherium. So it's really just. If I see snow, there can probably be a Megatherium. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'll show... I'll keep you guys, like... I'll keep recording for a little bit. Just because... Otherwise, it'll be like the Baryonyx video where I'm just going to be... I'm going to be cutting back and forth from... Um... Finding them. Because this is going to take me a while. Because, again, the island has that thing. Where you don't really find high-level... High-level, um... Creatures that often. All right, this is a Mei Ling? Mei, Mei Ying? I forgot the, uh, her name, but I'm pretty sure this is one of her notes. Mei Yin. I've asked these questions many times since I awoke on this foreign shore. Wait, I missed this. Where am I and how did I arrive? Oh, this is the first note. All right, so I've asked these. Can you, hopefully you can't see my Steam overlay. I don't think you can. I'm looking at OBS. I don't think you can. All right, let's try this for the third time. I've asked these questions many times since I awoke on this foreign shore, but I must stop. They do not matter. Their answers will not save me, so I will focus on a different question. How can I survive? This question always has an answer, though it is ever-changing, and it has helped me find resolve in moments of uncertainty or fear. Or fear. Just days ago, I never thought I'd fear again. I thought my fear died with the yellow turbans. Yet when I see... A great lizard turned its eyes on me. I know fear is exactly what I feel. <laughs> I, like, I like the art style. That's cool. That's the, that's her that's her first note. First one I've ever seen. Uh, is that the first one I've seen? Is. Alright, let's pump in RG. We're just pumping in melee. So I got the pieces of the trap. It's just my, that generic two by two trap with doorways that I usually make. Hopefully I don't get proloviad. All 
All right, you can't. I'm looking at my mic meter. You can't hear my dogs barking if I'm not talking, but you might hear them while I'm talking. And if you do, I apologize for that. Can't really do much about it right now. Um. So yeah, I apologize. All right, but let's keep looking for some megatheriums. Got a UD over there. 42. I think I know where level 18 UD is. So if I really want to, maybe I'll do that in the next video. For this video, I really just want to focus on getting a couple high levels. So I'm probably only going to be recording like me doing this part for a little bit longer. And then I'm just going to take, it's probably going to take me many, many hours. But I'm just going to fly around and I'm just going to kill all these low level megatheriums. And just hope to find a high level one. And then I probably... I don't I don't know. I'm trying to I'm weighing the um the idea of mutating them cuz all I'm going to do on this series is beat the bosses on gamma. But I've never done I don't really well I have I have done a gamma boss fight. It's the only boss fight I've ever done. That's on Valgiro and I don't really remember it. Ooh, this alpha carnal. Level are you? Level are you? Can kill that real quick. Um Oh, they don't fight the the UD doesn't fight the Megatherium. It's just interesting. I don't really really know what's like required. Like what like you know what strength of dinos or creatures are required to beat these bosses. So I might just um get a good amount of like get some good level Megatheriums and then get all this best stats into two identical parents. And then just breed an army from those two parents. See if I can beat the boss fight. And then if I fail, clearly they're all going to die. And then I'll just, then I'll take those two identical parents and I will just mutate them. And that's all, where I'll start with my mutations for them. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. What level is that? looks really cool. Is that a level 12? Oh, there you go. So we can keep that guy alive and we can tame him. At some point, if we need to. Actually, I saw a whole bunch of Megatheriums right here, yeah. Let's see what we got going on. 18. 18. I don't think there's any more. Oh, there's this one right here. I did not see that guy. Hey, oh, 18. Everything's an 18, apparently. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. I didn't even harvest all the, uh, the entire carnal over there. Okay, we don't really need to hide in raw meat that bad. Megatheriums are something that I've never tamed though. I mean, I really haven't tamed that much, that many creatures in this game. Which is so crazy. I can't I can't believe how little I've done in this game, but how much I've played. It's so it's always crazy to me whenever I think about it. Okay, but I've already been going for eight minutes, so I don't want to make this video too long by just constantly recording me killing these things. So I will cut back, hopefully soon, <laughs> for me. But I got a feeling it's going to be like the berries and it's going to be a really long time until I can find a high level Megatherium. But I will cut back when I find a high level Megatherium. Well, if I can, if I can actually hit the right key. Boom. We finally got one. This is taking me, this is taking me so long. <laughs> this is definitely taking me longer to get, to find a high level Megatherium compared to a Baryonyx. I will tell you that for sure. I haven't even seen like that many. Like I think I've only seen like three above 100. I've seen like a 114, like a 132, and then finally this one, which is 174, right? Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not like looking at that wrong. All right. So I think the main thing I should do is clear out anything from around here. I don't want anything to ruin this, especially after all this freaking time. Um. Okay, then let's just make the trap. So all we're doing is we're doing the normal 2x2. Two two. Ooh, what was that? Are those sabers? Yeah, let's kill these sabers. I don't want these things lurking around either. This one. Alright, there we go. Alright, alright. And let's see if we can get this going. So if we go like this. Go on passive. Get the walls. Get 
You could probably do only one hive with these walls and it would work, maybe? But we will do two just to be safe. And then... We can just put some ramps on this side. Like... So... And put all the extra stuff back on here. Alright, let's go ahead and break these rocks. So this guy can have an easier time to get into our little trap here. And I, while I've been searching, I was able to find an Ovis too. So these guys can take raw mutton to tame up. I should look up before I actually start doing this how many tranks it's going to take. So we have ourselves a 174. A like Ethereum, it will take... It's going to take 52 darts to knock him out. Okay, didn't expect that. Alright. There is one. Gonna get him to turn around here. Oh man, if I could shoot him right now, that'd be perfect. Um, Give him a one tap. Come on, buddy. Up and over. There you go. That worked out pretty good. Alright, let's make sure he is on um, passive. Or she. And do you think I can stand up here and not get hit? Alright. And now I'm going to sit here and trank this thing out. My gun's almost broken. That's insane that it takes that many darts. <laughs> That's not, it's not even that many, I don't think. Like, 50? It seems like an okay amount. That just seems like it took forever. Alright, um... Let me make sure I didn't hit it. Oh, we still have that otter. Um, yeah, okay, so we're good. Alright, so this isn't actually... These aren't actually the longest tames in the world. Like I said, we got some mutton somewhere. Right here. Man, look at... Yeah, look at all this. Like, this is all the stuff I've gotten just from killing all all of these megatheriums. Like, I haven't even killed that many other things. It's mostly just been megatheriums. Oh, I killed so many. It's insane. I should I should have kept track, but we have one. Now we need one more. Um, hopefully this guy's got good stats. It's going to take. Let me see here. It will take approximately twenty twenty six minutes. Alright, so I'm going to wait this time out, and I will cut back once it is ready to be tamed. Alright, it is time. It is bent. Oh, I thought that. I thought his head was like a, another creature for a second attacking him. Yeah, I got scared. I've, I've literally been just sitting up on that rock for the past 26 minutes. After all this time, I didn't want it. I didn't want something to happen. I thought about walking away and, and uh, trying to see if I could find another one, but I didn't want to risk it. Alright, so this guy should tame up, and we should get, um, 87 levels on top, which is the max that I can get. Oh, apparently not. We're gonna get 86. I think. I hope. Let me untrack him real quick. I wanna have all that crap on my screen. And boom! There we go. One down. Alright, let's go ahead and let's have you... Give me that food back real quick before you eat it all. Let's pick him up, and then let's go ahead and pick up our trap, like so. Grab that. Grab all these, our foundations, and we are good to go. Let's see, what, any good rolls? I have no idea what's good, but I can kind of look at the points and see. So melee, we only have 37, so it's not the best. We have 45 stam, which is good. Or it's like, okay. 44 weight, which is, I mean, 1300 weight, that's fine. Um, Yeah, so stamina and weight are definitely the two best. They're pretty good. 
But we're going to need some better health and some better melee, preferably. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm like, bored out of my mind from however long I was killing all those Megatheriums. So I'm going to go take a breather. But for you guys, it'll be, like, two seconds because I'm just going to cut it to when I see the next Megatherium. So I will... I guess I'll cut it back to uh, when I find another high level, which <laughs> for me is going to be in freaking old. There it is right there. See him? 180. <gasps> 180. Where, where is it? <gasps> no. Okay. Well, I'm going to kill these two and then I'll then I'll, cu I'll cut it back to whenever I find the next Mega Ethereum. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Ladies and gentle toes, dude, we finally have another... Decent Megatherium. It is lower than our last one. Um, but usually when I'm going for like high-end creatures for like mutating or I guess for boss fights, I'm I look for 162 and above. Um I'm playing on difficulty six, so max level on here is 180. So anything like 162, 168, 174, and 180 are the levels that I am looking for. So 168 is almost too low, so the second lowest that I'll take. But I can't explain how long I've been <laughs> I've been searching for another Megatherium. This is the second one I've seen all day today. I mean, I took a, I took a break after um, that last one because that one took forever to find as well. And I was just I got kind of burnt out, so I literally took a nap and then I just chilled. I think I edited a, one of the vid I think the last. It'll be yeah, it'll be the last video. I edited that up and then. Came back on and then killed a whole bunch more, did a whole bunch of searching, and I looked on the map, I saw that usually I was sticking to the snow biome, but around the Redwoods area is also a a spawn for him. Oh, please tell me I have my trap. Okay, thank god. Um, so yeah, so I realized I never, this is, I haven't actually came down here and checked yet. This is my first time coming down here, I've, I've just been sticking to the snow, and lo and behold, have a okay level and i'll be honest i think i might i'm probably gonna attempt the, to do the boss fight with just these two megatherium like I, obviously i'm gonna breed them and get all the best stats and whatnot but uh this has been terrible <laughs> the, i don't know how all you official players do this on a server i mean i'm struggling this much on a server by myself i don't know how you guys managed to find it's got to be quite the grind for you guys to actually find high-level dinos on, like, official servers. It's got to be insane. So respect to you guys. But I think I'm just going to try it. I don't, I've, I've never done it with Megatherium, so I have no idea how good they are. Oh, come on, this would be the perfect time to hit it. So, yeah, I don't know how efficient they are at killing it. Hopefully... Ooh! I thought he just jumped it. But from, from what I've heard, they're pretty good. So, I think I'm just going to get all the best stats from these two into two identical Megatherium. And then, I'm just going to breed them. Woo! Oh, God. Hopefully, that didn't do too much damage. I think we, sh we should be fine, so. But, uh, what was I saying? I keep losing my train of thought. Oh, yeah. So, I'll just get, I'll get all the best stats between the two uh, Megatherium that we have into two identical offspring. And then those will be my my breeding pair and then i'll pop out 20 20 babies and then i'll or however many i can go into boss fights with and i'll take those in and we'll see how they do hopefully hopefully they'll be good enough but if not i can just mutate them and if, if i have to do too many mutations i can always just go back out and get some higher levels i just don't really want to do that because this has been this has been insane i have to be kind of careful of this area so I know there's some bad things but we look pretty good right now I don't actually see too many things so we have a bear over there right now we look pretty clear all right so I'm just gonna crank this thing out it's gonna take a while I repaired my rifle before I left because just just knocking out that 174 like it did over half the durability of my rifle so I'm just going to cut this out, and I will bring you guys back once we have this thing knocked out. Or it'll be once where it's ready to be tamed, I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, so our Megatherium just knocked out. I almost actually hit it right when it knocked out, but I, I, should, I should probably check to make sure I didn't. Got this otter. <laughs> um, yeah, we are good. Okay.
All right, so we are just gonna go ahead and tame this up. It's gonna take about 26 minutes. I'm just gonna sit here on this rock, probably. This looks like a good spot. Come on, land right at the tip. Boom, look at that. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna make sure nothing hits this thing, because if, oh my gosh, if it ruins its saving effectiveness, I'm gonna be so sad. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna make sure nothing hits it, and I will cut, I just see those, I see those terror birds over there, oh god. Ooh, he, that terror bird's probably gonna die to that Anki. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and watch the, over this thing, and I'll cut back once this thing is ready to be tamed. Alrighty, so our Mega Ethereum is all tamed, thank god. Let's go ahead and fall. Oh my god, I didn't even check the gender. I'm... Oh, how did I forget that, dude? I'm pretty sure... Our other is a male. I actually... Oh, I, I think we just got really lucky. I'm pretty sure the first one we tamed was a male. Oh, I really hope so, because I know I don't want to... How did I not check that? And not realize until just now, I guess because I was going to ball it up. I'm pretty sure our other one's a male, though, so I think we just got really lucky. Oh, I hope that's the case. I'm going to be so sad if I get back to base and I realize that <laughs> we have two females and I need to go find another one. What am I doing? All right, let's go ahead and pick up our trap here. Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty, and then we can go ahead and take a gander at the stats. Melee 37, not so good. Health 32, also not so good. And I don't think this has got anything better than our male. Oh well, I, um, honestly, I'm just like, I'm kind of, I'll be honest, I'm a little fed up with, uh, <laughs> with searching already, which, probably not so good, but I mean, I don't know, dude, that was, br that was brutal, the amount of Mega Ethereum I had to kill in order to just to find two, it seems like kind of ridiculous, but, I don't know, I guess I'm just spoiled from, from, uh, Ragnarok and Valgiro. Oh, well, it is what it is. But anyway, guys, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to fly back to base, and hopefully I'll see that I have a male and a female. And then I'm going to combine the two, get all the best stats into two identical offspring. And that will be our breeding pair. And from there, we'll, uh, we'll pop out a little army. And we'll hopefully take on the boss and hopefully um, beat the broodmother. I think in the next episodes, I'm going to do the, the other two caves for the two artifacts that we need to summon the broodmother. We only need two other artifacts. We already have the Clever, I believe, from that cave that we did uh, last episode, I believe. So we're, pre we're pretty close. If you guys did like the video, please drop it a like. It helps out a lot. If you didn't, there's always that dislike button. If you do dislike it, just let me know in the comments what you did. Uh, ooh, what level is that? Rex. Let me know in the comments what you didn't like about it. Ooh, 156. It's I honestly might end up taming that because seeing how effing hard it is to get high level creatures, I might just get that Rex. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you didn't like about the video. That way I can improve it in the future and make these videos better. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me in general. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.